Hey men, Todd with Empowered Men Coaching here. How you guys doing? I'm out and about, close to where I'm staying. There's this little graveyard behind me, or this little graveyard that you can see behind me. What a beautiful place though, right? Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? But I wanna to talk to you today about fear and uh, what we can do about it and how it blocks us, gets in our way of taking action and doing things. And so I thought, hey man, since we're gonna be discussing fear, why not take a little tour through the uh, cemetery while we do it? It's really quite nice. Anyway, so this is the deal. A lot of people don't address things because they're fearful of what they're gonna find. Usually it's like finances, right? That's one of the items. Oh man, I don't wanna go through all my debt and see everything I've got that I owe or that I'm gonna have to deal with because it's just too much and you know, what am I gonna do about it? Well, one of the answers is it's gonna be very hard to do much of anything with it if you don't know where you're at. And not knowing where you're at, staying in that fearful place isn't gonna help anything. So uh, it's a great example of the importance of dealing with whatever fear or resistance you have around it. Another area is relationships. Something needs to be said. And the thing is, I'm too afraid to say that. If I say that, you know, the relationship will end. <clears throat> It'll be terrible, you know, whatever. But as long as you're in that place of fear, nothing ever gets better. So what do you do about it? Tim Ferriss has a, calls it a fear setting exercise and I use it in my coaching practice and it's really good. And basically the idea is this, you identify the specific thing that you're fearful of, the outcome, the event, whatever it is. And then you look at worst case scenario. If your worst fear comes true or the worst situation develops, what is it? And then you look at what you would do in response to it. So you're creating for yourself an option, um, a visual of what is beyond your worst case scenario. So you map that out. And the other is, what can you do to mitigate it? So that worst case scenario doesn't happen. What's in your control? What are the actions you can take? And so when you're done with that, you've got your fear, you've got how you can mitigate it, and you have what you're gonna do in the worst case scenario. What that does is it allows you a sense of control. It allows you a sense of direction. It takes away the fear of what's happening or the fear in the situation. And one of the problems with fear is we let our imaginations run wild. We let our imaginations just take off. And it's kind of like, well, if this happens, then that'll happen. And if that happens, then this will happen. And it just goes on and on and on. And it becomes very paralyzing and difficult to do anything with. So a very easy way to organize yourself around something that you are fearful of and to put your items of action that you can do to mitigate it, avoid it, the worst case scenario, or the worst case scenario, what happens. And when you can look at that, it gives you a sense of calm. The other thing as part of this exercise that's kind of cool is you look at what's gonna happen in six months or 12 months if you don't address this situation and what will happen in six months or 12 months if you do address it. So it gives you a sense of perspective. It gives you a sense of benefit, I think, from addressing the issue. Anyway, as I was walking by the cemetery, I started thinking about fear. So I'm just gonna share this with you guys, but this is like a style. Cause like, look at these 
I don't know if you can see it, but like the graves all have the hump thing going on. And these graves are old, some of them, like 100 plus years. So like not a fresh thing. It's like a style. I didn't know graveyards had style, but I think they do. But <laughs> these are my fears, right? The horror movies, it's the graves with the humps where the hand comes out, right? Kind of silly, but it's true. All right. Anyway, just a little light note around something that is serious about your fears and addressing them in a way that's going to put you into action and resolution. So that's what we're after here today. All right. I'm Todd with Empowered Men Coaching. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and I'll talk to you again soon. Ciao.